Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to look at how to switch our Canvas gradebook over from Q1 to Q2 or first nine weeks to second nine weeks or however you choose to say it. So here's, here we go. As you've probably discovered, uh, Canvas and Infinite Campus are two different beasts. And while Infinite Campus will do uh, quarterly grades, Canvas is really set up to record grades on a semester basis, which means that as Norman Public Schools middle school teachers, we need to make some adjustments to gradebook at, in Canvas at the end of the first nine weeks. And here's how we're going to do it. So first, you open up the course that you want to modify. Then you go to Assignments. And as you can see here, I have two assignment groups. I have formative and I have summative. Your grade book may look differently. As a matter of fact, I would bet pretty much it does. Your weights may be different. Your categories may be different. It doesn't really matter. Um, this is kind of a one size fits all. So you should be able to make this work no matter how many categories you have and no matter what the weights are. So here's what we're gonna do first. Well, just so you know, I'm going to try to limit the amount of clicks in this uh, tutorial because that is kind of like one of the number one uh, issues with Canvas. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by creating a new assignment group and we're going to call it Q2 formative. And as you notice right here, I can set a weight. Well, my old weight and Q1 was 45, so I'm gonna keep it at 45%, and then I'm gonna click Save. And if you notice, it creates a new Q2 formative with a 45% uh, grade weighting. I'm gonna do that again for Q2 summative. I'm gonna set the weight at 55, click Save, and it created a new category. So now I have Q2 formative, Q1 summit, or summative and formative for quarter two that have the same weights as quarter one. So now, just so, because I'm one of those guys that, that likes to have things labeled in a certain way, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna change my formative grading assignment to Q1 formative, and that way it keeps it straight in my head. And as since you are all are a very observant teachers, you probably have noticed that I can do grade totals here. Well, I've already got a Q2 formative at 45%, so I'm gonna change this to zero. This is gonna have the effect of making these grades invisible in your gradebook. The assignment will still be there. Students can still access, see what they did, how they did, if they made notes on something, if you made notes on something, they will still have access to all of those assignments. They just won't count in the grade total for Canvas Gradebook. Infinite Campus Gradebook will still do its thing. This is different, okay? So we're gonna go to Summative, we're gonna edit it. We're gonna change that to Q1 summative and again we're going to zero out the weighting so i now have q1 formative q2 q1 q1 everything's weighted properly if i have an assignment in q1 formative for example uh this one, right, I'm trying to find the one I had set up. Oh my goodness, oh, right here. This one doesn't actually become available until next quarter. I built it ahead of time. And so I'm gonna drag it down to Q2 formative. I'm gonna drop it in there. There we go. And then I'm gonna take, I've got one quiz that doesn't actually open up until next semester or next quarter so I'm going to drop it right there so now I've got all of my assignments for Q1 set up they're still there they're still accessible they just don't count in the gradebook I can close those and I can forget about them 
Now, as I build my assignments, I'm gonna drop them in Q2, uh, formative or summative. I can even go so far as to build a Q3 and a Q4 if I want to, to save some time when we get to the end of December. So, that's the basics of how to switch your gradebook over from uh, first nine weeks to second nine weeks. There's some other tips and tricks on this that we'll show you when we get there. Thanks. I hope this was helpful. And as always, if you need something, get in touch.